basically with edge computing, you will be able to do intelligence closer to where the consumer is without having to travel all the way to the cloud. Um, and I think companies need to start thinking how that is gonna change their architecture and their approach. And, and I hate to push a time frame, but you know, how far down that road do you think we are? I think a lot of that is going to depend on the 5G rollout. And mm -hmm. actually, at News Corp, one of the reasons I've been bring, brought uh, on board is to, uh, to, to be selective with all the technologies that we are being bombarded with and all the fast words and, and, uh, and all the fads. Uh, it's uh, hard, isn't to, it, to, yeah, to differentiate the It's very the fads. hard. So I'm selecting specifically what we should start with and which teams and in which countries and so on. And we have realized that. AI, Internet of Things, drone journalism, you name it, it's, it's very much going to depend on 5G adoption. And that's going to be so different in the States. They are going for a different spectrum. They have the bandwidth high away in Australia as well. Uh, it's going to be very different to the UK. And we have those three markets quite strongly. So we have to analyze everything. And understanding 5G is going to be the key towards everything else. And 5G just started to be rolled out now in London. So there is still a little bit of a while. There is the B2B side that I think we can benefit from sooner. But then there is the B2C side that will depend on which consumers are going to start adopting and purchasing 5G devices and so on.